one of the best ways to experience the pine and granite landscape of the Muskoka Lakes region is on board the Seguin. The Seguin is operated here in the Muskoka Lakes and it's the last remaining ship of a fleet of 11 that this company operated. Back in the 1800s, all the railroads stopped at Gravenhurst and so did the roads in Ontario. So the only way, way further north was by steamer to the north end of Lake Rosso and then a stagecoach over to Georgian Bay. This is the oldest operating one in North America. There's nothing on the Mississippi as old as the Seguin. What's unique again about the Seguin is that it's the only coal-fired commercial vessel left in Canada. It was restored and ready to sail again in 1981 and it's sailed every season of course since then. We start the first Saturday in June each year and we sail right through the Thanksgiving Monday. Well, we're really blessed here with uh, many really nice lakes, uh, three Muskoka lakes, uh, Muskoka, Joseph, and Rossell. A little further north from us, we have what's called the Lake of Bays, and the small town of Dorset and Baysville are in that area. And at Dorset, there's just a lovely uh, fire tower, so a lot of people do the trip and then go up to see Muskoka, the next best way from an aircraft, I guess. Northeast of Muskoka, and you come to Algonquin the oldest provincial park in Ontario and one of the biggest in Canada. And with 1,500 kilometers of canoe routes, it's possible for the serious canoeist and camping enthusiast to escape from the noises of motorized water traffic and get right back to nature. And keep your eyes peeled for deer, porcupine and moose. And Algonquin is one of the most beautiful places in Canada to see the fall colors. This wilderness has inspired many creative souls, including Tom Thompson and the Group of Seven, an art movement of the 1920s that dared to paint Canadian landscapes in a Canadian style. Fellow painter Arthur Limser called Thompson the voyageur, the discoverer. He felt nature, he adored her, crept into her moods, and his canvases lived in the Canadian mind. If you think Algonquin is beautiful in the fall, try Niagara Falls in the winter, another of the world's great natural wonders. Winter is one of the prettiest times to see Niagara Falls. It's pretty at any time, but right now we have the ice on the ground and the ice down below and the ice on the trees. It's just a real pretty sight. The rainbow is fascinating, but you know who looks at the rainbow when Niagara is behind us? That's what Charles Dickens said in 1842. But the rainbow is always found in Niagara Falls on a bright day. It depends where you're standing. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.